So you trying to rush me in the ring. You trying to pull some fake fly. You trying to do all this to say that I'm a hoe and I'm scared that I got cold feet. Come on, man. What? Now, Blueface said NLE Chopper was trying to back out of the boxing match. And now NLE Chopper said, hold on, I got to respond. Let's see what he had to say. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. Bro, bro, man funny as hell. I wasn't even finna respond to you, but I'm gonna respond to you, cuz. What you ain't finna do is make me look like I'm a pussy or I'm a hoe and bag now to fight this, fight that. I tell Blueface under his post, cause he posted a fake flyer that has not been approved by nothing with a whole website on it. So I'm like, I'm like, how is it? I asked you to fight. How the fuck you get a flyer the next day with me and your face on it? And I, I'm the one that asked you to fight. So now it's like you want some clout change and shit. That's one of people. So I come in on the job. I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro. I'm like, you posting a flyer and we ain't negotiating nothing. He says, oh, you say that? You don't want to fight, you getting cold feet, you bagging out the fight and want to manipulate the whole situation. No, nigga, I'm just saying, why is you posing my face on a flyer with a whole website? You you making no money out of real, because people clicking and going to that website looking for this, a pre-order or something, and not even finding it, so you false advertising. Know what I'm saying? Then, cause it, let's, let's call the elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is you've been boxing three, four years. So you already got three, four years of experience as boxing. Now I ain't gonna say as a fighter, but as a boxer. You know what I'm saying? You trying to rush me in a ring when I, when I ain't got nowhere near the experience, not even a, a month, not even three weeks, two weeks of boxing experience. You trying to rush me in a ring so you can have the ups. Come on now, I'm not a scared nigga, but I ain't no dumb nigga. I know this shit, I still gotta learn in this motherfucker. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I know it's shit. I know what shit. I still gotta learn before I even steal foot in that motherfucker. I gotta know what you know. You know what I'm saying? So you trying to rush me in the ring? You trying to pull some fake flyer? You trying to do all this to say that I'm a hoe and I'm scared that I got cold feet? Come on, man. Don't, don't even manipulate the situation like that. Let you be a hundred. I don't hit your phone. Try to hit you personally. You don't want to hit me personally. You want to do everything on the internet. How are we gonna get something done to even get in the ring for real? So do I want to fight you? Honestly, I don't want to fight you no more because at this point, you just look, it's like a cloud chase, desperate thing for you. And I really stooped low in the beginning because I shouldn't have even been talking to you because anyway, who are you now, bro? Like, you need shit like this to stay relevant, to make money. You need people like me to feed into you. So this is my last video. It's my last time saying something. If we want to jack, let's set it up properly. Give me much to train. Let me do this shit the right way. Don't try to rush me in no fight for no clout. And say that I'm pulling out a fight because I'm telling I'm I'm calling yo yo bluff nigga. Do you want to fight, nigga? Do you really want to fight? You posting a fake flyer and shit from the Muslim vegan crib. Not even a Muslim. Crazy man. <laughs> man, look, bro. Believe what y'all want, bro. I, don't, I called you out. You know what I'm saying? In my last video, bro. I'm done talking, bro. I'm done. We finished for Nico, bro. Leave me alone, please. I want to I want to leave the circus man. Leave me at your circus. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, first off, NLE, bro, you were spitting too much in the camera, bro. I rock with you, NLE, but I, I just feel like you were spitting all over my face. I had to wipe off my glasses real quick. Now, this is your typical blue face and I dare say whack 100 manipulation money play and i got respect for blueface and whack but this is how they be moving sometimes see i can see this already whack 100 he gonna be on no jumper talking about this well he said he want a box he challenged blueface we were just trying to put it together but you're not explaining the whole story because when nle chopper is explaining it saying that they put out a whole flyer. You got to remember, NLE didn't do nothing but tweet out, I want to fight Blueface. And y'all setting up pay-per-view tickets and flyers off of a tweet? See, when Blueface did his video, I'm thinking they sent NLE a contract. 
and they was trying to negotiate and NLE Lee was, you know, making it tough on negotiations. Y'all ain't even had a conversation. NLE Lee trying to call you blue face. You don't want to speak to him personally. No, I want to fight. So we ain't talking. All right. Well, at least have your business partners or whack or somebody hit him up and try to negotiate the fight. How y'all planning something that y'all ain't even talked about? Because I get it on social media. They said they want to fight. But this ain't no, he, he, th this wasn't no street fight. He didn't say meet me on Crenshaw and Slauson so we can scrap. Now, I know some people going to say NLE scared because he want to train. Hold on, wait a minute. Y'all know People got to train before they box. And I'm not saying it's supposed to be a Floyd Mayweather type of competition. They going to have this professional box. It's, it's always a little amateur when it comes to YouTube boxing, celebrity boxing. We get that. But you got to be ready to go in the ring. And we don't say that about these YouTubers that train for a couple of months before they box. So why, when it come to black people, can't nobody train. So, and, and we do know that Blueface been training. He go to the boxing ring all the time, I hear. He didn't have fights before, didn't he? Didn't he fight somebody already? So he is more trained in boxing than in LE. Like I said before, they not having a street fight. So, yeah, I don't know what's up with Blueface and Wack. It's looking very unprofessional. And I know Wack hasn't spoke on this yet. But, you know, Blueface don't move without Wack 100, okay? So, I don't know. And, and, and I know Wack might say that he is own man. But I guarantee you, Wack is going to speak about this. I already see it coming. And, you know... I see some people telling NLE, don't give them no clout. Don't let them start off 2024 making money off of your name. And I think it is a point to that. Because now they're going to start the year off getting that NLE chopper and trying to force him into the ring. So we'll see what happens. But, um, you know, I don't know. Because it looked like NLE might be done with it. And if I was advising NLE Chopper, I would say, bro, let it go. Go do another stream with Kai. You got bigger and better stuff going on, you know. Blueface is doing this thing. He getting money, but he's just not in the realm of NLE Chopper no more, all right? He 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 more like a, uh, I don't know, a Flavor Flav or something like that. <laughs> you know, like when Flavor Flav had... Uh, uh, flavor of love and stuff you a reality tv star slash like low-key pimp <laughs> so you, you don't really have credibility in the industry no more when it comes to music you can ghostwrite for your baby mama and make her a song but you know the rappers don't respect Blueface no more i'm just being real with you i'm not talking about california and people, you know, gang affiliated who got respect for Blueface and they say he got hands. Okay, that's cool. I saw people in my comments talking about, oh, Blueface got hands. That's that's fine. But that ain't got nothing to do with the top artists in the rap game respecting Blueface as a rapper. They don't. Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. I will see y'all next time. Peace.